What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI, another uh, Dell Optiplex 3020 mini tower up upgrading the video card power supply and from a hard drive to solar state drive this is for the like a gaming and so we, what you guys are going to do is remove the side cover panel and uh, there will be two ton screws right here the back side remove them the side cover panel now you get a Phillips screwdriver and there will be four screws here in the back of the power supply, get it with the Phillips screwdriver and get those screws removed Then we're going to disconnect the power supply do that then uh, disconnect the 4 pin, 8 pin right here optical drive, disconnect the cable and uh, you're going to disconnect the uh, well, there's an optical buddy. We're going to disconnect the 8 pin. And that's about it. And what you're going to do is, uh, you're going to, there's, there's a secure clip right here. You press it down to release the secure lock for the power supply. You press on it to release it. I'll show you guys do that. And the power supply in here is only, it's a 290 watt. And it's 80 plus gold, uh, it's a pretty decent power supply. But we're going to be upgrading to GTX 950 and I'm going to be installing guys a 450 watt power supply in here. So now we're going to disconnect the hard drive here too at the same time. We're going to upgrade to solid state drive. And do that, Just disconnect that and remove the hard drive caddy from the hard drive. Now we're going to install the 450 watt power supply and i am be using guys uh, NTAC VP450, this is a 450 watt, pretty decent power supply. Since we're going to install a GTX 950 mini power video card, it's per this is a low power consumption video card, this will be perfectly fine. It's NTAC uh, VP450, 450 watt, really good power supply. Or if you guys want to spend a little bit more, then you can just go with uh, Corsair CX600 if you want to do that, it's a little bit bigger. And you just like you can still like use this power supply. Then if you're gonna upgrade the computer, you can still reuse it. And this is a 600 watt car, so CX 600, really good power supply too. And so let's go ahead and uh, install the power video uh, power supply. Really easy, really quick. Now, what you need is uh, it's an ATX 24 pin to 8 pin power supply cable right here so this is going to go to the 24 pin this is going to go to the motherboard 8 pin this is the cable you have to buy in line again this is a ATX 24 pin to 8 pin power supply cable because the motherboard has 8 pin doesn't have 24 pin this is what that, what this does is from 24 pin it changes to 8 pin so this is what you have to buy and it's compatible with uh, Optiplex 3020, 7020 and the 9020 Optiplex is compatible for the mini tower this cable right here they sell them online so yeah guys, I'm just making a quick, uh, so just let me go ahead and install it. And so what you're going to do is connect the 24 pin. And you're going to connect the 4 pin. Goes to the motherboard here. Let's connect the 8 pin right here. Goes right to the motherboard. And we're going to connect the 4 pin right here. Let me show you. It's right here, and just connect that really easy. Now we're gonna get the four screws back and reconnect the, the screws back. So let me move the camera close so you guys can see. Now we're gonna connect. The, we're gonna get a. From the hard drive, we're gonna upgrade to solid state drive, and this you have to buy this caddy. It's a 2.5 caddy for the solid state drive, and how you do that is install like this, really easy. And we connect the uh, the solid state drive, and okay, so now what we're gonna do is uh, get these cables right here and connect the. Uh, Soul State Drive. And 
slide in. So we installed the solid state drive. Now we're gonna install the VD card. Uh, it's a GTX. It's a GTX 950 Mini from Asus, and I'll show you guys the model of it. The back side. Here's the box. It's a GTX. It's a G4 GTX 950 Mini. And this is the one I'll give you guys the model number. You guys can go online and get it if you want. It's a low power consumption video card. Here's the model right here in the middle, right there. Mini GTX 950. It's two gigs. You can just go and get the same video card if you want. And it does support 4K monitor. You got two gigs of memory on it. Stuff like that. So low power consumption. It fits perfectly fine with this uh, Dell Optiplex 3020. This is the box of it. So let's go and install the video card. So to do that, we're gonna move because they'll be right here. There's a PCI brackets right here. There's a clip right here. You press it down right here. And you're gonna move the two PCI brackets right here. Just like that, there's to be two PCI brackets, you got that removed. You're going to install the video card right through PCI Express X16 slot right here. You guys can see. Now, we install the video card. And this video card doesn't take a 6 pin power connector because a uh, 6 pin power connect directly from the power supply to the video card because it's low power consumption up to 75 watts. So, I'm just going to install the video card really easy, really quick. And you clip it back in right here. That's about it. So, now. You're gonna go ahead and put the four screws back on the back of the power supply, reconnect the power supply. And you can just use the wire ties to get all the cables management here. I'll do that later. So you guys, this is uh this is for the Dell Optiplex 3020. And we upgraded the solid state drive from hard drive to solid state drive. We upgraded the video card to GeForce GTX 950 and we upgraded the power supply to 450 watt. I'm gonna guys show you guys the front pad can of our bezel here. It's Optiplex 3020 mini tower. So you guys, this will be the end of the video. And what you're gonna do is uh, turn on the computer, uh, connect your, mo your, your monitor directly to the video card and go to nvidia.com website and get the drivers for the video card either uh, if you have a 64-bit Windows 10 then just go and get the drivers for it install the drivers restart the computer to get your video card working so you guys this would be it uh, this is for the Optiplex 3020 mini tower and uh, so let me go ahead and put the side cover panel back on here so this is it guys uh, thanks for watching bye